All right, guys, welcome back to another ride along in a square body. We are riding currently in a 80 no, Christian. There's no key on the key tag, so I can't tell these people what year we're driving, but I believe it's an 89. Am I correct? Yes. Okay, 89 Chevrolet 2500 three quarter ton Suburban. We just jumped in it, it's been sitting in the showroom for three or four days. I will say I was very impressed, it did not puff smoke. Why should a vehicle puff smoke, you say? Well, a vehicle of this era had a lot of things that took place. One, the motor and the seals get old and dry. They also had what's called valve seal issues. Uh, this one did not puff any smoke. Uh, I was shocked. You still filming? Yeah. Okay, good. So, started off good. We also, by the time we got uh, something moved behind it, got in it, the AC was nice and cold. Blowing out of the vents, we've had a couple vehicles recently where the heater door and the blend door and things have broken uh, and over time people have like changed and wired things up we're not one to doctor that stuff up if we're gonna take it apart we're gonna fix it so blowing out of the vents we're gonna change it over to defrost and it does move I have ordered a digital thermostat so I can actually show you guys because I know you can't feel through the television or your phone how cold it really is this thing's cold it's blowing some very, very cold air, which is great. Um, tilt steering wheel's nice and tight. There's not a bunch of play in the steering column. It's got the cool newer steering wheel, which everybody seems to like. Floor shift 4x4, it's a four-wheel drive truck. And 82,000 miles is shown to be the original mileage on this truck. Uh, the guy we bought it from actually does a lot of business with finding us these trucks and going to the right source. This was a one family-owned truck from Oregon so committed to proving the point it had an Oregon title it still has the Oregon license plate on it which we'll show you when we stop to get fuel the dash is perfect as you can see not a replica not a replacement not a cover it's a factory dash even as the factory rearview mirror and how I know that is they start to uh, come apart and deteriorate in these little areas which it is overhead console is good look at there even the dome lights work uh, let's try it here. Boom! Dome lights work. Boop, 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 boop. Um, wood grain trim's intact. A little fun fact, we were just doing some conversions on a crew cab, and as far as what I can remember, the wood grain only came in the Suburbans and the Blazers, uh, and only in certain years. So if you see a pickup with the wood grain, chances are it's been swapped out of a Suburban, which there's nothing wrong with that. That is one great way to get a nice interior as a donor. Still got the hood emblem up front. I'm gonna pull in here and uh, get a little fuel. We're gonna find out if the gas gauge works. That's always a tricky thing on these trucks, whether that works or not. Speedometer jumps just a little bit at slow speeds. Temperature gauge is perfect, running about 190. Oil pressure is about 45. Battery's charging at about 14 and a half. And we do have a factory radio out there so we're saving 30 percent which does still work most of the time the power button on these is broken the personal gray one that i built for you and you guys saw some videos on i had to put a little paper clip in here to make the power button stay on it does have an aftermarket trailer brake which is a fairly new style and you see the carpets i mean they could probably use a little shampooing but they're all intact factory gm floor mats books manuals even the data code plate is right there Shut it off so we can get some fuel. Are you paying today? No, sir. All right. Well, figures. If you want to scroll around the other side just to get a good walk around view and catch that license plate on the back, we'll put a little bit of fuel in here. Plus fever, the daytime coughing, aching, sore throat, fever, just for kids. Medicine, safe for kids. Six plus. Use it directly. Like that time you knocked down that wasp's nest. Uh -oh. Or that time you forgot to roll up your windows in the car wash. Fantastic. Yeah. Sorry, we're at one gas station that has a uh, radio playing in the background. At least it's not a. Uh, at least it's not playing music. You will notice we put premium fuel most anytime we get fuel. Uh, we use premium fuel in these vehicles because of the fact that 
one, if they sit, they're going to lose a little viscosity, um, not viscosity, octane, and you'll have spark rattles and pings and dings. But uh, the premium fuel is always good. When we sell these vehicles, you don't have to use premium fuel, but we recommend it. The older motors really like it a lot better. They respond to it better. They're going to run better. Uh, and I believe they even have some cleaning agents in them. Uh, we all know fuel sitting is terrible. We pulled out a couple lawnmowers that we hadn't used since last year just the other day. We know we used them last year. Carburetors were completely shot. So fuel these days, terrible. Um, brought you a video already. If you haven't seen it, you can watch the previous video on this truck. But right here, it does look like this has been repainted. And when they repainted it, they didn't use a base coat clear, so it's duller. Um, you're going to notice that in some of the pictures also. You could probably scuff this and put clear on it and make it better, but that is one of the few objections I noticed. We have not painted anything. Original hitch, it's not rusty. Oregon license plate. The lower two-tone section looks like it's also been redone, more than likely for rocks, because if you look underneath, again, no paint under it yet, and it's not rusty. It has had a new muffler put in place. We left the ugly running boards. We left the ugly hubcaps. We left this truck as original as possible. That's getting ready to change. That's why we're driving it, because I'm about to drop it off at the off-road shop, and we're getting ready to probably go crazy. So if you guys want to pick your situation with this truck, now's the time to do it. If you want to make changes to this truck, now's the time to do it. Um, if you want to buy it stock, really now's the time to do it. Once we put a lift on it, we can lower it back down. We can make it bigger. But right now, we're figuring 12 inches and 40s. We're going to go big. It's a three-quarter ton. It's eight lug. Why not? Um, but we don't have to. So, again, now be the time to speak up. Let me cut the fuel off, jump back in it, check the fuel gauge, finish our drive up. And this probably has a huge tank, so I'm only putting 14 gallons right at 15 gallons in it. Savings, pension, home, Come on in, sir. Forget your receipt, sir. I will get it. So I don't get yelled at. Of course. Of course. If you guys own a gas station, please, for the love of God, put paper in your things. It might not mean much for some people, but we have 350 to 400 vehicles moving around at all times. Me and my guys are at the fuel, we're at a fuel pump every 30 minutes at least during the day, between one of us. We, so we probably have 30 transactions sometimes in a day of fuel. 90% of the time there's no receipt. We use this gas station, that gas station, the one back there all over. Wow, wow, you guys do a good job. Kudos to you. Usually it's always fine at Wawa uh, or Sheets. These other places, unfortunately, please put some paper in your uh, daggone dispensers so I don't have to forget it. It's funny, huh? Yeah. It's not funny until you get yelled at. Chris is one of the few that doesn't have to go get gas all day long. And then we had to reconcile a statement at the end of the month with all these charges that we don't have receipts for. Yay, the gas gauge does work properly came up just like it was supposed to. Uh, rear window while we're in here. Bam. It's slow, but it works. Very nice. Oh, it's faster going up than down. It's already up again. Uh, we did have to fix a window motor. That works now like it's supposed to. This one works like it's supposed to. Let's try our locks. Locks are like they're supposed to. So we've already done all the trivial things that we do on these vehicles. We had two windows not working. We had two locks not working. The rear window did work. I think he agrees that because that is a little bit faster than it was. Uh, I mentioned in the other, it's got a little pilot's association here. So chances are maybe the guy was a pilot, which is a really good sign because those guys are extremely anal on the way they keep their vehicles. Um, but we don't know. We didn't get it from them. It did come from the original family, though. Three-quarter ton, 89 Chevy Suburban, Silverado package, Basically every option you can get and three quarter ton. Um, if you want to make it one ton, we'll go have the axle out. We can slam a 60 under it, guys. Pretty much anything you want at this point. Power steps, modifications, traction bars, lift kit, it doesn't matter. We can do it. It's at that point. 
I want to give one last shot before we did something with it. This truck is currently $29.9. $29.9 stock. Um, when we're done, probably going to push itself into the $45,000, $50,000 area. Um, just depending on how extensive we go with lift kit, how crazy with shocks, tires and wheels. I have some weld stuff. I have some of the Davis Off-Road custom built wheels to pick from. We got to decide on that, which tires we're going with. Um, speaking of tires, if you haven't seen our Mickey Thompson video, be sure to watch that because we do need some more feedback, guys. We got a lot of responses, but we need some more. Um, but the Suburban's great. Let's try to cruise control. I'll be darned. Cruise control even works. Amazing. Check that out. No feet on the pedals. Getting ready to run into a track trailer. Arch. Cruise control works. So, actually, guys, this one on the interior, um, I can't fault it for anything. This is not broken. You have to hit the latch to open it. Uh, these things are a little weak. They're falling down. Typical. Seats are perfect. Seats are very, very perfect, actually. No stitching, no wear. No replacement panels have been done. What did I miss, Christian? AC's working, radio's working, cruise control works, tilt works, transmission shifts great. Power windows, power door locks, rear window, fuel gauge. We kind of checked all the little trouble items, right? Yes, sir. Um, and believe it or not, people expect perfection on these, especially when they come from us. This was one of the nicest ones. And it still had issues, such as the windows and the locks. Um, I did not expect the cruise control to work. That's pretty amazing. Um, steering column, again, they get a lot of play in them from pulling on them. I guess the side steps help with that. It's running nice and cool. Uh, run down the road is actually running more like 180. Uh, I can't think of anything else to check, guys. I think we got a good one here. Somebody's going to get a nice truck, whether they buy it stock or they buy it lifted. Uh, the interior is nice and tight. We don't have a bunch of wind noise. We've got the AC blowing cold. She's working good. We have engaged a 4x4. That works just like it's supposed to. Yes, guys, uh, that's all we can say on this one. We're back at the car lot. We made our little loop-de-loop -loop run that we make with these. Got it up to temperature. Made sure everything was good. Kristen can make one more little walk around, and uh, we'll pop the hood. I think we're done, guys. Completely original under the hood. You can see the AC sweating just to show how good it's working. Water bottle's not gurgling. Still got the actual tube going into the air filter. It has had a tune-up. That's a good sign. Oh, I didn't put this back when I did the last video. Oops. Even this works like it should. Pretty cool. I didn't have two hands, so I couldn't roll it back in and make the video. So back where it's supposed to be. Getting ready to get an oil change. It does have a Jasper sticker here. I'm going to assume probably the transmission was redone. Uh, definitely they don't ever need motors. This is a 350 V8. Has something replaced by Jasper. We're getting ready to do an oil change. We're getting ready to do an inspection. Uh, and then you guys can take it from there. Davis Auto Sales, Richmond, Virginia. Anything you can imagine we got. Even boats. Thanks. Appreciate it.